Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. Heavy rain. It's been the same for weeks. I know he doesn't like being the last one left at school. I'm late. Again. Sean's waiting for me in the car. I better go back. Let's go back home. Seems like he doesn't really want to talk. Grace has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Time for a snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. 
They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children had never been seen again. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends, how things are going. Nothing special. You've got a cold coming on. I'm going to see if I can find some medicine for you. Dad, why'd you turn it off? It was my favorite show. Turn it back on, Dad. All right, all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? I think we should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. Now get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. I think there's some medicine in the bathroom cabinet. I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. It's dinner time. I'd better make something for Sean.
Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah. I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can... Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Dad. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? 
Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Good night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean.
What the heck is happening to me? I must be going crazy. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh. That Lauren Winter. Third floor. Last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. There'll be other victims if we don't stop the killer. You have got to help me, Lauren. You may know something that can aid the investigation. Help you? There's nothing you can do! My son's dead, do you hear me? He's dead! If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right! Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right?
What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. 